Part of the joy of winter for Chris Redfern is watching the long-billed curlew wade along San Diego's coastal wetlands. Its wingspan is about three feet, so it's a, bit, it's a pretty big bird. It has a very large uh, down-curved beak. Redfern is executive director of the San Diego Audubon Society. He says within three decades, the migratory shorebird could disappear from San Diego. It's going to have to adapt. It's going to have to find ways to survive. Survive rising sea levels that are expected to inundate its intertidal habitat, including at Mission Bay. That's where many of the 20,000 long-billed curlews migrate to each winter to feed on crabs and shrimp. Imagine another 18 inches on top of this. A lot of these spaces that these birds are using to stay out of the water and stay away from these, these edges that are you know, a threat to them to be up along the edges where all the human encroachment is happening, those areas are, going, are, are disappearing. Also at risk of disappearing, the curlew's summer nesting habitat of short grass prairies in Idaho, Montana, and Colorado due to warming temperatures and drought. It's really a story of disturbance because we know that with climate change, habitats are changing, they are moving, they are shifting their geographical locations. Sometimes that means those habitats will just move north. Sometimes it means they'll shrink. Redfern says many of San Diego's coastal habitats, which are crucial migration stops for the winter visitors, will have no room to shift to. In this particular place we're standing at in the Kendall Frost Marsh here, um, the Kendall Frost Marsh is completely constrained by development. The long-billed curlew is not alone in its plight to survive. A recent seven-year National Audubon study warns more than half of the nearly 600 bird species found in the U.S. are threatened by climate change. In San Diego, more than 120 native species face grim prospects, including the brown pelican, Allen's hummingbird, and western snowy plover. Several other species are already victims of habitat reduction. Like the loggerhead shrike, which 25 years ago was fairly common, is now barely hanging on. Philip Unit is curator of birds and mammals at the San Diego Natural History Museum. He says drought, heat waves, and wildfires have already begun taking a toll on San Diego's birds, including the pygmy nuthatch, a tiny songbird that used to thrive in the Cuyamaca Forest. It's a bird that makes its living by probing into clusters of pine needles for insects. Then came the 2003 cedar fire. If the pine needles are all burnt, if the pine trees are dead, or if the few that are regrowing are still only knee high for 20 years, uh, then there's no habitat for the pygmy nuthatch. Unit says the prolonged drought is also deeply concerning. We can easily see if we have too many drought years in a row with birds not reproducing and undoubtedly surviving poorly that the populations could uh, dwindle away. Previous changes to bird habitats evolved over tens of thousands of years. Unit says current changes are happening at a pace and scale never seen before. Historical records are found in the museum's library of tens of thousands of bird specimens that make up 90% of the world's birds. Each is carefully cataloged and represents a particular time and place in the environment. See, this specimen collected by Frank Stevens in the San Bernardino Mountains. Unit says predicting which species are going to adapt is difficult. Some will learn to live and feed in urban environments. We've seen that in the case of Nuttall's woodpecker and Cooper's hawk and the western bluebird, the house wren, a uh, species that you know, we might not have predicted as an urban adapter, but uh, turned out to be so. Others face extinction or loss locally, outcomes seen just a few times in San Diego's history, like the black rail that used to be around San Diego Bay before the 1950s. Back at Mission Bay, Chris Redfern with the Audubon Society says birds have always been used as bellwethers for the health of our world. He says the outlook for the long-billed curlew is troubling. For someone who loves wildlife and is about protecting wildlife, this is our big challenge in our lifetimes. Susan Murphy, KPBS News.